Sh you want to know who I am? I'm, I'm Professor Philip Roskis, <clears throat> Lakeland Community College Chemistry Department. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. This is what happens. You know what? I have to tell you something. Lakeland has been good to me. 50 years in five minutes. I'm going to try to do this. But I have to tell you something. This is what I do with my students. They come into the lab, the lab say, and I say, let's get to work. Let's get to work. But I have to tell people this. I said, I am here to help you get a good job someday to do what you want because I've never had a job. It's so sad. I've never had a job because I've enjoyed so much of what I do here at Lakeland trying to help students move on with their careers, get started. I have so many people out there. I go to Walmart and go by the pharmacy and they say, hey, Roskis. I've got pharmacists, I've got doctors. I'm so proud to be able to help people be successful. And Lakeland has got them started, you wouldn't believe it. They come here, they get the greatest education, and they move on, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. Let me tell you just a little bit about the history of what happened here. <clears throat> when I was a little boy, I lived in Kirtland Hills. I was a hillsbilly, so I would come and I would, I would, I would, I would I would play with my bicycles and we'd drive, and we would drive by the Moore Mansion. The Moores lived over there. It's called Moreland now. I used to play there as a little child. So I went on, Hiram Case, da 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 da, da went on, and went off. Then one day, I was teaching at the University of Wisconsin. I was a young boy, I was tiny. <laughs> I was teaching. My brother says, may he rest in peace, my brother Ken, he says, they're building something on top of the hill, you know, by the Kirtland Country Club. They're building something over there. And I said, really? What is it? I think it's a college. I says, oh, that'd be interesting. I can come back to Kirtland and teach. So he told me about that. And so I came home on a break, made an appointment with John Rasick, and I met him down in Painesville. That's where the college was operating out of. And I went in for a little interview, a little talk, and I said, uh, you know, I could teach organic. They didn't have organic chemistry. This is 1970. So I said, you need someone to teach, let me fix my hair. You need someone to teach organic chemistry? And he said, uh-huh. <laughs> so I said, I can do that. I, I, I'm an organic chemist. I can do that. So I got a chance to develop organic chemistry at Lakeland Community College. And I used to teach down on the hill down by the river in Painesville. Well, anyway, that's how I got started. I got in here, and I've been here for 50-some years, and it's been wonderful. I said I never had a job, but I worked hard. <laughs> and, and so I got my start, and here I am uh, at Lakeland. And, and with, with uh, all of you people uh, working together, what wonderful people uh, to work with. Well, anyway, that's part of the story. And so I'm here, and um, I'm here to work with students and show, I love to show them things. I love to show them things. Now, I, I just, just let me just show you one little thing. You don't mind, do you? It's, this is a universal indicator, and this is water. Just throw it in, Rosk. Just throw it in. See, I'm going to put some indicator in some water. And then I brought some dry ice. Do you see the color of this uh, stuff? Uh, no, oh, I brought some ammonia too. Where is it? Hello, this is ammonia. See, this is just household ammonia. I pour it in there and, oh, you notice it turned color? Oh yeah, it turned color. Let's see, I don't, I'm gonna just set this here. And then I brought some dry ice. One of my uh, former students, she works at Recirca and she got me dry ice. This is the thing, former students, they're all over the place. And we work together out. Isn't that fun? I, this is, I can't stand myself. I love to, to play with dry ice. And, I know people tell me, don't touch it with your hand. Uh, you don't squeeze it. Don't squeeze, just gently get it. And, and that's, that's my dry ice. Isn't that fun? You see, it's, it's, it's uh, now it's, oh my goodness, did you see that? It changed color. Oh, gee, I'm gonna put a little more ammonia in there. See, this is just a, a tiny little demonstration. This is a tiny little demonstration. See, I love to teach chemistry by showing. You show. You let them get their hands on later on. And I have my students do demonstrations, they try things, and it's great. Can I just, well, do you mind? I have a bucket here. I mean, just, 
Oh gosh, this is dry ice. And, and put, I just put them in the bucket. Don't worry, it won't hurt you. I'm just going to set it over here for a moment. Now, I'm, I'm going to move the little tractor. This is our spirit. Now, look, I hope this is okay. This is a, a graduated cylinder, and I'm going to put some household. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide, brown bottle, everybody recognize. This is pro hydrogen peroxide, you know, just simple stuff. And what it is, it's, it's, it's loaded with oxygen, and that's how it fixes your boo-boos. So I got some chemical here that will react with it. Now, I won't hurt anyone. Uh, 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 don't worry. I'm, uh, 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 don't worry yet. <coughs> oh, look at that. It goes crazy. I put, this is 3% hydrogen peroxide. Look at that baby go. And that's how it kills organisms, even this virus that's out there. Now, you put this peroxide on it, it'll do it in. Uh, I'm swearing to you. Now, I got a secret for you. I have this here, other bigger graduate, and I've got some. That was 3%. Hello. This is 30% peroxide. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in here. I'll try to be careful. Put some, this is 30%. As you move it on up, you get into what is called early rocket engine fuel. Now, that's, that, now since that's there, and since there's a camera out there. I'm gonna put up, we have these lovely super duper safety shields and I'm gonna put one here if you don't mind. And then I got my glasses on and then I don't know what's gonna happen. I never know, but this is, this is 30%, uh, I don't know what that is, 10 times, I don't know. And this is the KM104 in here. I'll put a little in here. Let's see if it does anything. Yeah, did you see that? See, see how much, see, can you see me now? Do you, do you see how much more reactive that is, huh? Oh, see, this is why I never have a job. I get to play all the time. This is play, play, play. Anyway, I show that. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's warm. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. My hands were cold, so oh, it feels so good. Anyway, <laughs> that's, that's a little bit of peroxide there. Anyway, I say Lakeland has been good to me, and I try to be good to Lakeland. I try to sell it. It is wonderful to bring people here. One more thing. Over the years, I had the opportunity to work with some really famous people from all over the world on projects where we did this kind of stuff for teachers. We did this stuff for, for scientists. We worked together. And what we did was that we created all kinds of activities with the American Chemical Society, British Petroleum, Exxon Mobil, and we've developed all kinds of demonstrations and activities. And what we did, I'm going to be quick here, I'm trying to be quick is I brought stuff back to Lakeland to share with the students at Lakeland. My hair okay? I share with the people at Lakeland. Isn't that fun? And some of this stuff here, I, I, I just, oh. So, and then we started the Science Center over there in, in Painesville, or on wherever it is, 44 or something like that. Never mind. Oh my gosh, can just, I put, remember I put carbon dioxide in here? Just don't, don't be upset. Uh, and then I have a grand finale here. But anyway, Lakeland's a great place, isn't it? Blowing bubbles. See, see them bubbles? Can you see the bubbles? I don't know if you can see them. They're blowing down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, bubbles. See how they sink? Except when they go into this bu Look. Oh, my God. Hi. Look at that. I'm the, this. The, uh, uh, I'm defying gravity. Did you see that bubble? I mean, can you see it? I mean, did you see it? Oh, it went away. One more time. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. la de do. Oh, so. Anyway, enough of this. You see carbon dioxide. That's dry ice carbon dioxide. It's more dense mm, than air. So it's filling the bucket. I mean, that's so wonderful. Can I just, don't be mad at me. Where's, oh, hi, Candela. This is a candle, and this is torchy. Do you don't mind? This, oh, look, look, look at that bubble. Oh, my, is that fun? Oh, my gosh. That, oh, jeez. Can you tell me? Oh, see? This is a candle. This is a cup, 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 cup. And can you see the candle? This is, is, I, I lit it with torchy. And I'm going to go in here. I'm going to get a scoop of this. Get, I got a cup full. I get a whole cup full. You can't see anything, can you? No, you can't. But if I come down here and I pour it on the candle, it puts it out. Isn't that fun? I mean, there was, you didn't see anything in it because it was a gas. It's more dense 
than air, and that's why it's used to put out fires, because it settles down and takes care of the fire, smothers it like a blanket. This is a uh, engine. Now, I want to show you the potential of hand sanitizer. It's got ethanol in it. It's perfectly safe. If it gets on your skin, it absorbs. If it gets on your face, it absorbs. You clean your mask, uh, and if you inhale it, sometimes it won't hurt you. This is a thing. This is an engine. There's a spark plug in this engine, and I have a sparky. Um, this is my friend, hello, where's the button? I don't know if you can see that. That's my friend Sparky. You don't want to touch the end of that because it ain't fun. But I, I make a spark in this bottle. Are you ready? What I'm going to do real quick is I've got some hand sanitizer right here. I'm going to put a little bit in. Um, see, this is um, um, for cleansing and getting rid of viruses and bacteria. I put some in. It's very much fun. And uh, let me get this out of the way. Now, I have to uh, just shake it around a little bit. Don't, don't get mad at me, but I, I just have to poof it just a little bit there. And then I'm going to put this cork in over here. This is the cork. And then I, I have to put up safety shields because um, <clears throat> I'm hoping we go out with a bang. Uh, <laughs> I want to show you the power of this alcohol. It's quite flammable. Um, I have two safety shields, if you don't mind. And this safety shield here is for me, and that's for all of you folks out there. And then I got Sparky. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. Everybody's safe except me. I'm right here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to put Sparky on the spark plug. Let's see if anything happens. Are you ready? Get set. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Did you see it go up in the air? Did you see I propelled that cork like a bad? Not too bad, though. I wasn't real bad. I mean, it wasn't real bad. And then, oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is so nice. Oh, yeah. And this is a little bit warm. Uh, can I, I, I'm going to try one more thing. Don't be mad. Now, this time, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some of my alcohol. Now, this is hand sanitizer. Trust me. It's explosive. It's, it, it, it's flammable. I put some in. There, it's a good. I don't know if this is going to work. You ne See, the thing about science is that you try, and it, it doesn't go the way you want it to, you think, and you try again. That's what's called research. You try it. And if it doesn't work, don't give up. That's, that's certainly, you mustn't give up. Are you ready? Get set. Ready? I don't know what's going to happen. It's just a, yo. <laughs> ready? Get set. Wow, was that bolder or what? It's still hoofing over here. Okay. Well, no, that's, that, that's, I mean, what am I going to say? Science, this is science. This is chemistry. And the most important thing is to have students see things. They get ideas. I have them uh, see me, and I say, well, what do you want to do now? You want to try something? Don't try it until you run it by me, though. You can't just do it. You have to run it by Roscus. And then we'll talk about it, and we'll give it a try. And, and so, again, can you see what I mean? I don't have a job. <laughs> it's so sad. I love what I do. <laughs> and if you love what you do, do it. Continue. And then help others along their way. Oh, that's so good. Teach. Every time I teach, da, 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 I learn. I learn from what I say, what I do, and I learn from my students. I tell them, you are part of this team of learning. You're college students. You're wonderful. And you're at a wonderful place called Lakeland Community College. It's been great to be here 50 years. It seems like just a few, but it's a long time. I don't know. I, the time flies when you're having fun. Isn't that the truth? Time flies when you're having fun? I don't know why, but it does. Well, that's it. I don't know what else to say. That's science. That's chemistry.